In the Midwest in the early O, 16-year-old Alice has always been a good Catholic girl. But when an AOL chat turns racy, she discovers masturbation and becomes guilt-ridden. Seeking redemption, she attends a mysterious religious retreat to try and suppress her urges, but it isn't easy, especially after a cute boy starts flirting with her. Yes, God, yes is a story about discovering and loving yourself, in more ways than one. A young girl, played by Natalia Dyer, gives in to self-pleasure when she tempted by an AOL chat room conversation. After doing so she feels an extraordinary amount of guilt because of her faith. Opting to do what she thinks is the right thing, she attends a religious retreat to try to suppress her urges. But self-exploration is normal at her age, as any of us can admit to, and for her to feel ashamed is unfair. Unfortunately yes, God, yes is rated R, which makes sense because of the content. However this will likely deter those that are in the same age as the girl Natalia plays, which should be the ones watching it. The movie isn't only about discovering oneself in more ways than one, it also throws some digs at the Christian community. At least those that would hold and attend retreats like this. So often these are led by hypocritical individuals and that is just what we see here. So who can blame Alice for getting even more confused and angry about her feelings at this point? She finally realizes that her urges are normal and healthy, which is a great lesson for teens to learn. But as I said above, they might not be watching this movie. I know as a parent I wouldn't want to watch it with my kids, even if they are older. Yes, God, Yes is a fantastic story about self-love, discovery, and exploration. It also takes some serious digs at the Catholic community hypocrisy which I was totally okay with. Some might find it uncomfortable to watch as Alice touches herself time and time again, but the overall lesson of the movie is what should be taken away from it. Natalia Dyer delivers an amazing performance as someone that most teen girls can totally relate to. I particularly love when she decides to get rid of the guilt for feeling what are completely normal urges. Alice's sense of shame is spiraling when she uncovers a shocking truth about the retreat's most devout. Desperate and confused, she flees and meets an unlikely ally who offers an alternative view of what it means to be good. For the first time, Alice realizes she can decide for herself what to believe and finally gets the release she needs. Yes, God, Yes, takes place in the dark ages of the early aughts, where AOL chat rooms provided teens with sketchy flirtation possibilities, and if you had sexy urges when watching a video you had to manually rewind over and over again. Alice is a teenager attending a strict Catholic school, and her world has not prepared her for the maelstrom of puberty. Her sex ed class is taught by a priest. Posters promoting abstinence line the hallways. Not only is sex before marriage forbidden, but masturbation isn't allowed either. Alice takes all of this seriously, and is truly concerned when the scene in Titanic gets her motor running. Does this mean she's going to hell? Yes, God, Yes, written and directed by Karen Maine, is a refreshing anomaly, a coming-of-age masturbation comedy about a teenage girl. Maine takes Alice's predicament seriously, but she maintains a light distance, all the better to lampoon the absurdities and hypocrisies of sex-phobic messaging. Yes, God, yes, is frank about sex, but it's funny about sex too. Alice is so innocent that when faced with a rumor about the sexual act she supposedly performed at a party, she has to ask her best friend what the term even means. She spends half the film trying to find out what the heck she's even been accused of. Fearful of going to hell, she signs up for a four-day spiritual retreat, hosted by the school. Graduates of the retreat stroll around in a blissed-out state, wearing matching sweatshirts, and Alice wants whatever drug they're on. Her desires to crush her impure urges fly out the window the second she arrives at the retreat and gets a look at a teenage hunk named Chris. She swoons just from a glimpse at his hairy arm. I went on a couple of Catholic retreats in high school and some of the scenes in, yes, God, yes, made me cringe in recognition, the disarming friendliness, the novelty of seeing your classmates out of a school setting, the weirdness of talking about serious subjects with your peers, the pressure to cry when you're sharing. Mostly, though, those retreats were a hotbed of teenage romance.
Yes, God, yes, share some similarities with films about kids getting gay conversion therapy, particularly in the scenes showing repressed uptight adults shame teenagers for having perfectly natural feelings. Maine keeps a light touch throughout. She finds these adults absurd, people who pathologize sex not because the Bible tells them so, but because they themselves have unresolved issues around sexuality. Yes, God, Yes, started as a short film, and the feature is Maine's debut as a director. She also co-wrote 2014's Obvious Child, a very funny character study with some sharp insights about the unruliness of women's bodies. Maine has a good feel for comedic rhythm, there's one particular cut that almost made me laugh out loud, and she is really good at finding those quiet moments when big internal shifts take place. A standout scene is Alice's random encounter with an older lesbian, where Alice realizes for the first time that there's a big world out there, and being an adult doesn't mean you have to be an uptight hypocrite. You can be whole, you can be free. It's baffling that, yes, God, yes, was saddled with an R rating. There's no nudity, no tough language, nothing exploitative or racy. This is a sweet sincere film about a girl getting all twisted up because of the mixed messages passed down to her. There's nothing here that would shock a teenager. On the contrary, there is much here that would say to a teenage girl, you probably think you're all alone in feeling like this. Good news, you're not. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.